after the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, his uh, companions were having doubts in their hearts about what to do. She counseled him. MashaAllah. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. So today I'm going to be reacting to true status of women in Islam. I like videos that are more focused on a certain subject than videos that just talk about everything. And I'm really excited to see what this video holds. A big shout out to the person that actually suggested this and I really can't wait to see what's in this video. Before I go further, um, I would like to thank everyone that's been supporting us in whichever way that you have. I hope you guys are doing fine. I hope you're having a happy holidays. A Merry Christmas to you and a Happy New Year. And yeah, so without wasting time, let's get into the video. My darling sister, you think you've gotten a raw deal because culturally your husband oppresses you. Culturally, uh, he abuses you. Culturally, you got cultural baggages. So you think you, the Muslims are doing you a wrong deal. But I have news for you. My darling sister, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed you to keep your own name. You know, you get married here in this country and you're Mrs. So and so. But in Allah's book, you are so the daughter of so and so. You've got your own name. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his sharia has seen to it that you have your own wealth. You have your own wealth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has seen to it that you get your own portion of inheritance and you keep it too. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees to it that no matter what you earn, your husband has to provide for you. This is Allah's sharia. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made you not an object of desire or objectification as they have done in the West, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made you a pillar and a builder of the society that you are a part of. And what did you do? What are you doing? Let's look at some of these pillars in the society. I ask you, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. Musa alayhi salam. The Prophet Musa. His life was a success built by women. His mother was inspired by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His sister ran after him and saw that he was returned to the household. The wife of Fir'aun pleaded on his behalf for Fir'aun to what? To, to take him into her home. Surrounded by women. The life of the Prophet وسلم, was a success by women. Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha gave herself and her wealth and all that she had for this deen. The, the wife of the Prophet وسلم, Umm Salama, she gave him counsel which at one time after the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, his uh, companions were having doubts in their hearts about what to do. She counseled him. MashaAllah. The household of the Prophet ﷺ, his wives were women who gave out the sunnah and the ahadith and the fiqh that we, you and I study to this day. Women, our deen is a success of women. And our sisters, this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Tahreem. Hmm? He says, وَضَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Allah has made a parable or a similitude or a parallel or He has given an example to people who believe. Not women who believe, people who believe, both men and women. Imra'at of Fir'aun, the wife of Fir'aun, is called, Rabbi ibn li andaka baitan fil jannah. When she said, O oh God, O oh Allah, build for me a palace for you in uh, uh, for me next with you in Jannah. وَنَجِّنِي مِنْ فِرْعَوْنَ وَعَمَلِهِ وَنَجِّنِي مِنَ الْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ For people who believe, yeah? Save me from Fir'aun and his actions and save me from the bad people. And I wonder which of our leaders today can say, save me from the bad people. 
Uh, but you see, this is my job, brother. So I have to tow the party line. It is my job, brother. I have to do this. Uh, uh, we say to you, didn't, uh, didn't you not know? لا تعت المخلوقات في معصية الخالق. Didn't you not know that there is no way that you can you can obey the creation over that the, the laws of the Creator? So when you say I'm selling these things and I'm doing these things, check yourself. وَنَجِّنِي مِنَ الْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ And Allah further goes on. وَمَرْيَمَ بَنَّتَ عِمْرَانِ Maryam, the daughter of Imran. أَلَّتِي أَحْسَنَتْ فَرْجَحَ Who was that woman who is عِفَّتْ Who was that woman who is modest and chaste? To show women that that's how you need to be. Show women. Men and women. We are suffering as a people. And we are supposed to be the vicegerents who are supposed to bring Islam to non-Muslims. That ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen if, if you don't have the taqwa of Allah and if you're not aware of these things. That was interesting. I didn't even expect it to start like that in the first place. I feel for the longest time we women feel oppressed in relationships. But then, why are we feeling oppressed? We've been sold this dream by Western media that was supposed to live this way and that way, do this and that in a certain manner. We're forgetting our own cultures, where we come from. The world is so rich in culture that um, something I do in my culture may not be appreciated maybe in the Middle East. While something in the Middle East may not be maybe celebrated or appreciated in Europe. At the end of the day, if we have the right guidance, the right people around us, and, and we're just mingling with the right people around, we will remember who we are. We will remember that culture, culture is what makes us. Culture is our identity. We shouldn't throw away our culture only for us to adopt a cultureless culture. Look at the Western culture. What culture is there? They're proud of their culture. Why can't we be proud of ours as well? If their culture is what sells that that sells for them, let them be. Just like they should let us be, celebrate, and so that we celebrate our culture in whatever ways we like. I'm not saying even the things that take away happiness or life or some someone or something should be celebrated. No, just the right parts of our culture should be appreciated. Some things are so archaic we shouldn't pay attention to them. But then we shouldn't rush into modernizing things or modernizing the way we live when it comes to certain things. I was in agreement with the statement that was said by the narrator saying, no matter how much a woman makes, a man should take care of everything. I thought that's, I thought that's just a universal thing. But then we're living in a world where People want us to come 50-50 when it comes to bills. People want us to come 50-50 when it comes to taking care or raising children. If one is working, why can't someone maybe cook? If one is working, why can't someone raise the children? I'm not saying one should take over the entire thing, but you can come together and actually be a family. We shouldn't be so quick to say, we got a raw deal. Why can't we sit down and think about it? Okay, fine. He's doing this. Why can't I do this? As much as we want freedom in our lives, as women, I don't think we should base our freedom on what freedom means in the Western world. Let's stick to our culture. I really, really, really love culture. And I don't think I'd want to throw it away. I'd actually want to learn more. I want to carry my culture from me, 
from my from my parents, me, my children and the generations to come. And I like the fact that he emphasized it's just not women to learn from this but men as well. We should come together, learn and that's when we can achieve what we want in life. We won't feel oppressed. Another thing he said at the end of the video he said something like you know how people maybe may be quick to judge. We want to teach someone something but then we're not living according to the teachings we're bringing out. Why not practice what we preach at the end of the day? So if I'm practicing what I'm preaching, someone else will be able to see, oh, okay, she's living by her word. Maybe what she's saying may be right. But then we never, that's the only way someone can see or say that something is right if you're living something by example. But anyway, a big shout out to the person that requested this. If there's any videos like this about women, men, let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in our next reaction video.